kuna ile uh, pension scheme ambayo wafanyikazi wote wa serikali pamoja na walimu wako ndani na wakati huu haina trustees tutaka kumwambia waziri wa fedha kwamba aweze ku uh, uh, kuweza kuandikisha majina ambao wale ambao wamepewa nafasi ya kuwa kwa hiyo trusteeship sababu tumekaa takriban miezi karibu mitatu bila trustees na hizi ni pesa za walimu za pension kumbuka hizi ni pesa ambao hapo awali walimu wame, walikuwa wamekataa wataki kuchanga lakini baada ya kuongea na serikali wakakubali zichangijwe na ziende katika pension ambao ni superannuation scheme na walimu wengi ambao wanachangia hii pension ni wale wachanga. Na ile kazi si tumepewa kama chama ni kulinda hiyo pesa isipote. Saa hii kwa hapo pesa zaidi ya bilion miya moja. Na tumekaa miezi minne bila trustees. Na kuna sakata pale kwenye idara ya fedha. Inachanganya waziri pamoja na PS wake wanataka wachagulie sisi wale watu ambao watakuwa pale kama trustees na wanataka kutuchagulia wale watu ambao watachunga pesa za walimu na ndio sababu tunasema a a mara moja toeni majina ambao tuliwatumia kama chama na pia wasije wakatuchanganya na kututolea majina mengine wasome act act inasema vilivyo kabisa kwamba Kenya Union of Post Primary Education Teachers itatoa mwakilishi mmoja sio watatu lakini kuna ukarabati pale ya kujaribu kutuambia tutoe majina ya wale ambao hao ndio watatuchagulia ili pesa za walimu zipotee kama chama tunasema la na tunataka wafanye hivyo mara moja la si hivyo tutatumia njia zingine zikiwemo hata kuenda bunge kuwauliza waende kamiti kueleza mbona hawataki pesa za walimu zichungwe. Nataka kuambia walimu wote Kenya hii kwamba pesa zenu saa hizi kwa tarini za pension. Na ndio sababu waziri aambiwe aweze kutoa yale majina ambayo tulitoa kuweza kuchunga scheme ya pension kama trustees. Asante sana. We are asking government to guarantee that they will respect and obey the court orders in relation to the e-citizen platform to give room for among others clear public participation and legislation and policy framework that will ensure that we do not have issues Kupet does not fight technology, but technology should be to give citizens and more so stakeholders in education a very easy way of doing business with our schools. We also don't want this platform to negate the principle of willing buyer, willing seller, that you must use the e-citizen to transact the business with the school. As many have hinted, that it is very, very difficult to pay fees using kind, to pay fees in kind using the same platform. Secondly, the issues around the TSC Act Amendment Bill 2024. Whereas we are aware of the powers that the Teacher Service Commission enjoy as granted to independent constitution and itself, we are asking the Teacher Service Commission to engage further stakeholders on the same and to give room to limit its powers to address mainly issues related to provision of service, not to bring bottlenecks on how to manage teachers in other, other spheres. 
And lastly, we are calling upon the Cabinet Secretary for Finance to gazette trustees to the Public Service Superannuation Scheme. We are also calling upon the Principal Secretary for Treasury to desist from micromanaging micromanaging institutions which are supposed to to nominate trustees for the same. It would be very erroneous if at this particular time the principal secretary allows a lacuna to exist in the gazettement of public service supernuisance scheme trustees because our members retire daily and they re require service. The oversight body of the trustees cannot be gainsaid. It must be addressed immediately.